Let's go see if we can talk to some of the guys from Northland Fish and Tackle. We just stopped here at Northland Tackle in Bemidji, Minnesota. We got Charlie and Sam. They came out to talk to me. They actually watched my videos and uh, it's cool meeting them actually. Find a lot of their lures. If you watch my videos, you see them too. How long have you guys worked here for? Uh, it's been about three years, I think, I've been working here. Three years? Yeah. You like it? I love it. And I've been about here seven years. It's hard to beat, so yeah. Just around fishing and talking fishing. It's pretty cool to follow Ed on uh, social media and see some of the lures he's collecting from the different lakes and rivers and seeing our products. So. Yeah, I'm always tuning in to kind of see what uh, products are being used in what rivers and what's the hot color and whatnot. In fact, I just asked him, he's on Lake Bemidji here, asked him what the hot jig color was, so it's fun to see and some of the fish down there too. So, What do you guys think the hottest color is around here? <laughs> Plastics. Especially in the, in the river where you were, chartreuse stuff like low watermelon yep. is really good. Uh, but a lot of the natural colors like blacks and whatnot are really taken off in this last year or two. Yeah. So. If you have any ad advice for the anglers out there, what's your best piece of advice for a new angler, let's say? Learn what you're fishing and where the fish are. Well, that's one of the reasons I like watching your videos. When I started fishing, I'd always fish shallow because you can kind of see the cover, yep. uh, see what's around there. As I advanced in fishing, got better electronics, I love looking at my electronics to seeing what's down there, seeing where the fish are, then you can use that knowledge to carry. Yeah, you don't always have to be catching fish to be learning and putting a pattern together. Everything's a piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. So you just take things and you learn and you put it together. And if you see some fish here, you gotta find why they're there and you can learn from that. Great advice, thanks guys. Yeah. Just made it out to Lake Irving behind me. Where I'm standing right now is a big sandbar. Um, the Mississippi is coming in over there. The Mississippi's coming in this way. You can't tell with the wind today, but uh, I'm going to search the outer parts of the sandbar. And if I can make it on the inside, it's pretty shallow. It's only knee deep. Let's see if we can find some stuff. to see here. Got a little bit of trash. Just got back to shore. I swam the edge of that sandbar. Only found three um, cans, a shirt, but it was pretty clean. You guys do a good job keeping that area clean and I hope it stays that way.